All right, everybody. I'm gonna show you how I'm making out today. I started painting my car finally. Um, I put three coats of base, and I had a little hiccup around this left side. I had a sag, so I had to sand the sag out. And I went around and I took a screw to sand the sag out. I'm gonna denote it, and I put a quick coat on it. It looked it. So I went there, and then I put two coats of. Uh, my, basically it's a base coat clear it's clear but it's a base coat with my pearl in it let me see if you can see it yeah, at the right angle yeah you can see it that's the pearl gold pearl in the paint glad I did that it really looks good uh, I'm trying to step back see if I can get a better so that's uh, three well four coats of base it would have been three but two coats with the uh, two mid coats with the gold pearl in it and that's three coats of clear on there that I put them I put on wet I just got done with the third coat and it I'm really happy the way it came out I mean I did this in my garage so Got all the jams. I got it. Everything. I redid everything my brother did. Because, well, you'd have to be here, but it looked like shit. So, um, show you how I'm doing this. For me, this is the easier way. I'm doing the back half the, and the door jams and the doors and the gas, and then I'm going to do the doors and the fenders. I'm going to have the hood off. I'm going to do that separate. Do the trunk lid separate. Um, I got a small compressor, so it, it can't keep up with it. It has a tough time keeping up, so. Plus, it's just easier for me to do it this way. I'm trying to eliminate all the tape lines, so I did the jams and the, everything all in one shot, you know. I'm going to show you. If you guys see my other video with what I do with my gun, I'm using these little these Ziploc bags, and it's been working awesome. Um, see my garage is a mess it's a shithole and a freaking paint job came out sweet so can't understand that one but yeah so I used ended up using two bags for the base because I had to wait and sand it out so couldn't leave it in there but uh yeah they work really good if you if you're not a professional and you don't have to use a shit ton of those bags and you're just doing it like me do it the ziploc way you know it works out pretty good so here's my dash. Everything, I mean, everything came out pretty nice. I've been having my AC on today. It's 89 degrees out right now. Um, without the AC, it would be too hot in here to paint. I, I couldn't, the, the paint dried before it hit the car. But I started out at six in the morning, it was 62. And it just, it just went up from there. It's just a hot freaking day. But, uh, Yeah, I'll just walk around, check it out. I wonder if there's something else I want to talk about. Show, I'm going to show you guys what I'm using here. This is my clear coat I'm using. This stuff is awesome. Um, not that I really know a lot about paint, but you know what? I'm a I'm an amateur, and I laid this shit down. It looks damn good. And uh, this is my base coat. It's more money than the other shit that they have, but I'm really happy with how it came out. Of course, I was outside right now in the sun doing this, but I'm waiting for it to tack up enough so I could put the back tires on. I'm probably going to back it outside. Let it bake in the sun a little bit because it's a hot day, so it'll help it dry. So, here you go. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned because it's going to be done soon.